Well, good day and I love you. I'm Heather Peterson Lockhart and this is your Daily Dose for Friday, June 2nd, 2023. Uh. Well, welcome to my jammies in my bed head on Friday. I wake up looking this fresh. Don't you just love it? Cha-ching. Cha-ching. Yes. Anyway, loving my blonde, loving this sass. I'm loving that little wave. It makes me feel sexy. Like a sexy little Tinkerbell thing filled with magic. And that's what I am. That's what I want to share with you today. So I am resurrecting a character from my past. Honeybee sex part. Yes, pinup queen. I have to tell you, for those who don't know about the village of Heather. So back in the day, the village of Heather that you see before you now. This is a whole community inside me. I got all kinds of parts in there that have their own personality, their own gifts, their own contributions, their own connection, their own everything. Yes, I have made it so. Because back in the day, the village of Heather used to be an island of destitute. It used to be an island of nothing. Couldn't nothing grow there. Couldn't nobody visit nothing. Because there was this thing in the water. I call her the Terminator. And she used to jump up. If anyone tried to visit the island of Heather, the island of destitute, the island of damage, yes, if they tried to come up, Heather, excuse me, the Terminator would pop out the water and grab them by the body and chop off their head and crap down their neck. Yes, she didn't even care if you came in peace, if you had gifts and resources galore. No, she was too afraid, right? And so I became aware of this when I got separated from my ex-husband and I had to go to divorce court and I couldn't blow nobody up or shoot nothing or damage anything or drink or become an asshole. I had to stay responsible and I had to lead my family and I had two 15-year-olds and a two-year-old. Holy hell, yes. I was fond of saying at that point, if I was the moral compass, we were all fucked. <laughs> yes. So... I created a character and one after the other, I became a self-sufficient, safe, and stable, and creative village of Heather. Yes. All I had was the Terminator. Then those who have been in Camp Heather for a while, y'all know, then I created a warrior called Iona. Iona came to the village of Heather and showed me how to go to battle, so to speak, and not kill anybody. She taught me how to sit at a table amicably how to problem solve without trying to blow other people up and take them hostage because that shit didn't work no more and I wanted a happy, healthy home. Yes, so I created Iona and then the characters went on and on and on and way into my feminine healing because I had to heal that damaged sacred masculine part of myself first because you see, I that was the kicker. I was the magnet to the bullshit in front of my face and I didn't know it. I was blaming everybody in front of me, taking men hostage, saying they are emotional, vacant black holes. They can't do this. They can't do that. No, they were a match to my bullshit. Yes. So I had to heal that damaged he in me so I could become the she that you see before thee. Yes. So I did, and well into that healing, I created Honeybee Sex Pot. She was my most feminine, most sensual, most sexual, most connected, most yummy, yummy, un -un delicious, and delightful character yet. Yes, well, here's the part I want to tell you today. In that character, I met my significant other. It was then that I decided to go in my room one day and surrender self to source and all that is and say, I'm tired of being a boss, babe. I'm tired of this bullshit. I don't want to do it all by myself no more. I don't want to pay all the bills by myself, the financial bills, the energetic bills, the resource bills, the time bills, the end of everything. I'm tired. I'm tired of my home being like, well, a militant castle, yes. And I didn't want that for my son. And I didn't want it for me anymore. I was ready to partner. So I surrendered. And then I put out the beacon to the universe that I was ready to meet my king. And I was in full-on honey mode. And everybody knows you win more bees with honey. Yes. So I put out the beacon and I met Robert. The second I contacted Robert, or he contacted me, or however we made contact, we were kind of... It just worked from the very beginning. We chatted, texted, texted. Then I said, are you up for a combo? And we talked on the phone. We had a date the next day and we've been, well, together ever since. Yes. 
and he and I grow like healthy weeds. I need to think of a healthy plant so I don't say that because we're not weeds. We grow really healthy together. But the part that I want to emphasize about this story is I became who I wanted to be and then the world responded to me accordingly. It did not happen the other way around. I did not go looking for my king and expect to become queen with him. No, I became honey bee the queen first. And then I put out the little hyper communication signal like bees do and I called in my man. Yes. So that's what I want to share with you today. Yesterday you had, you had Jupiter conjunct the North Node. We got a chance to think about our destiny. We got a chance to think about who we want to be and what that looks like. So for today, since we all know faith without works is dead, how are you taking action? Yesterday, I told you to sit in quiet and to meditate on who you want to be, what that look like, what that smell like, what that tastes like, what that feel like, <gasps> right? So today, how are you going to be that? So for today, how do I be Honey Bee Sex Bot? Well, I'm being her right now. Isn't she pretty? She's just radiant. Yes, don't you just want to be around her? Don't you just want to buzz a little higher? Yes, that's the idea. So, to, <coughs> excuse me, I'm choking on my own spit. Today I wanna, I'm gonna be honey. I'm gonna be honey in my actions. I'm gonna act like honey. When I'm in doubt, I'm gonna pause and I'm gonna say, what would honey do? What would honey say? Instead of just simply reacting, I'm gonna choose my conscious response. Yes. So please comment below and tell me what choice action you are taking today to dance in your destiny. Our card is, I witness the darkness and call on the light with my prayer. Thank you universe for guiding me to perceive this fear through the eyes of the teacher of love. Look, it's got stars and everything. It's the universe herself. Thank you for being here. I love you so big. 